You can choose how you answer or both, but what is your favourite aspect of the role-playing hobby or business? I think my answer is the same for for both. Um, gamers, both the you know the, the the hobby, the players, and the the industry used to have this really strong race memory, both of being horribly bullied uh, and being outcasts, and of attempts to censor and control what we made or, or whether we could play a game at all. You know, obviously referencing the Satanic Panic and the Vampire Panic and, and various other aspects as well. Now, I wouldn't wish the bullying aspect on anyone, but it did create um, a natural inclusivity to gaming as as a hobby and as a business in that anyone who wanted to play was welcome and we would overlook any personal identity issues that, that, that they might have. And with regard to the satanic panic and so on, it meant that the industry as a whole uh, aligned to my values, shall we say, of being extremely, rabidly, anti-censorship and anti-moral panic and any attempt to tarnish the the industry or, or the hobby with moronic accusations uh, of satanism <laughs> and blood drinking uh, and whatever else back in the past you know was given short shrift and was, um, anyone who was trying to prosecute that kind of thing was told to fuck off both by the the industry as an industry such as it is um, and by the, the players and games masters within the industry. So we were unified in a lot of ways, and it reflected my values in a lot of ways, being rabidly anti-censorship myself. Because that's not really true anymore, um, any of it. I, ironically, the, the drive for diversity and inclusion, uh, as if it was never happening before, that is coming from millennials and, and later is making the hobby a lot less tolerant, a lot less inclusive. It has created an aura of suspicion and resentment around a, a, a lot of people because they're not content with being tolerated and accepted. Um, they, they seem to want more than that, and it's it's unfortunate in that this has resulted in a in a huge backward step and in terms of censorship as well um without having that that common memory the the moral panics which are very similar um are now coming from in, inside the house so to speak you know we can look at wizards of the coast putting disclaimers an older product that isn't racist sexist homophobic or, or, or whatever else but they just kind of blanket slap that on everything or entertain the most absurd accusations around things like the the Hadozi or, or or whatever else and a large portion of the hobby kind of just goes along with it um, and if you don't go along with it if you adhere to those older values <laughs> my values perhaps um, then you're just kind of dismissed or treated as part of the problem when I think I think it's the opposite in fact um, so that was was something I loved about about the industry and about the hobby that's kind of disappeared or has it because recently when wizards of the coast tried to revise the open gaming license to dick everybody over we had a glimpse of that old unity um that 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 old spirit that i always used to feel was was part of the industry and and of of the hobby of everyone coming together against a common problem of different competing companies coming together against a common problem of players all having the same goal you know and not just D&D players but players of everything all third party publishers so the the hobby as a whole you know even across lines when you've got someone like me <laughs> or uh perhaps a better example would be the the RPG pundit um, on the same side as people like Ginny D or whoever else, you know, this new wave of influencers who have been part of the problem <laughs> for, for a lot of it. When you've got all those people on the same side, you get a, you get a glimpse, or, or in my case, a recollection of how things used to be 
how we would unite against anyone trying to dick over the hobby, how we set everything else aside for the game, and how that engendered a spirit of cooperation and and tolerance um, and inclusivity that has been missing in recent years. So for, so for three glorious weeks, it was like it used to be all the time. And um, that gave me a great sense of hope uh, that maybe that's still there, just, just beneath the surface, if we can only find a way to, to access it again. Uh, and that lasted maybe a month, and now everyone's at each other's throats again. <laughs> so, so maybe not. But that was always my favourite thing about the hobby and the industry. And maybe it still is if we can get back to it. But I ain't holding my breath.